1021 WDRM. Live. Hello, it's Cafe 102 Live here at the Sailor Center Lister Lounge. I'm AJ McLeod with uh, Josie Lane for the morning show and our studio audience. Thank you for being here. <laughs> that was a cue. They were being very, very modest. So. <laughs> All right, so Josie and I are, well, if you're in the audience, we would be to the right of the stage. We're joined by Parmalee from uh, Stony Creek Records. Good to have you guys here. Oh, here. And of course, we have lunch for our audience and uh, the group from uh, Atlanta Bread <laughs> on University Drive in Huntsville. So it's great to, great to have everyone here. I'm going to introduce the band as we go across the stage. Right next to us here is uh, Josh McElwain. He's uh, on the guitar, and then we've got uh, Scott, um, I'm sorry, Scott McSw uh, Josh McSwain. That's right. Yeah. I like, I like, I like the new band. Like 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 <laughs> well, see, we had, this, we had this guy with uh, <laughs> Michael Wayne in football in Alabama, but anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> I know all my aliases now. Yeah, the next, next to him on the drums would be uh, Scott Thomas, and then next to him is his brother, uh, Matt, and then on the far end, their cousin, Barry Knox, on the bass guitar. So you're kind of a, uh, almost a, a family group with a very close friend from childhood. Yeah, we, we brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we are. We, we grew up playing together. Uh, we played in a band with my dad growing up and, and uh, you know, met Josh years ago and we, we've been together uh, since. So it's a, yeah, we call it a family band. We're definitely family. So we'll just start off. Uh, a lot of folks may have the same question I did. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the name Parmalee. Parmalee is the name of a small town where we started the band in North Carolina, Parmalee, North Carolina. Population 264. Um, <laughs> we had a little barn that was about half the size of this room that we would go out to every night and rehearse and, and write and play. And Great play. vacation destination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we, we decided to name the band after the, the town. Um, we changed the spelling a little bit so people could pronounce it easier. The actual town is spelled P-A-R-M-E-L-E. -E, and. Um, I think we're probably the biggest thing to come out of Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on the wiki page, yeah. Oh, you've made it. That's how you know you've made it. Come on, you got a wiki page. I'm amazed somebody in Harmony's got internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they got cable out there yet. But I guess the family connection goes back even further, right? You, the, the brothers actually started playing with Dad? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were, from the time we were little kids, we always, you know, looked up to him. He was the, he was the, the town rock star guy that was playing music and was just, you know, he was the guy. He was the most talented guy around and he could sing and, you know, um, seeing him play as a kid was just amazing. So we wanted to get the band. He let us, once we got good enough, we could play with him. And then we started the family band called uh, Jerry Thomas and the Thomas Brothers. Barry was on congas and Scott's on drums. I'm on guitar and he's playing keys and singing. Um, and in, we met Josh in the club while playing in his band with my dad. So oh, I played in the Thomas Brothers band. Yeah, he's playing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. And uh, for I know you have a lot of fans out there. For those of you that can't see them, though, uh, Parmalee is a little country, a little rock and roll. I see some spiked hair, I see some hats. Mm -hmm. Are any of you not tattooed? I'm just wondering. Mm. Yep, there you go. Okay. <laughs> 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 and yeah. what? I was going to say, we all do have uh, one tattoo that we share in common. Oh, really? And that's, a, that's the zip code of Parmalee, North Carolina, which is 27861. Yep. So we all, wow. Well, now we know. What's that? Kind of sure, no. That'll make for a great contest oh, question this afternoon. Look at mine. That goes for on the TV, John. Hey, 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 what is it, man? <laughs> um, so oh, tell us, uh, you've got... Two seven eight six one. They're going to get you got some more people in the tattoo group now, oh, just man. so you know. Nope, nope, that's, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I hear you have an interesting story about the writing of Must Have Had a Good Time. We yes. actually wrote it in our RV in Nashville, mm -hmm. and uh, but we actually wrote it about the the house that we all lived in in Greenville, which it was pretty crazy, pretty much all the time. It, that song pretty much wrote itself. And this was happening during the Nashville flood. You guys were like in the RV, locked all the doors, and just stayed in there until you. We came didn't out. even realize we we were living in the RV <laughs> for like a month in Nashville. We went out there. We didn't really have anything to do. We just went out there and met some songwriters and ended up writing a song, but. It started raining, and we were like, well, we can't go anywhere. So we started writing this song, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. And we finally turned the TV on, man, and we were like, we're stuck. We, we, we can't leave. The, the whole town is flooded. But that's that's the good thing that came out of it for us. We wrote that song. 